We talked a little bit about the search box in previous Outlook courses, but today we're going to be diving a little bit deeper into that search box, specifically talking about our search tools. And these offer us some more advanced search settings. So we're going to start by clicking into our search box, and you will see that it's going to open up if we click out of that. You'll see that in our, in our tabs at the top of the ribbon, you see that search has now appeared. So we're actually going to go all the way over to the right to those three dots, and we are going to just hover over search tools. And these kind of help us a little bit get more specific with our search. So specifically when we talk about this indexing status that we see at the top here, indexing status is more if we had a big, if we were searching a really big inbox and we had, you know, maybe thousands of emails it was filtering through, indexing status actually would give us kind of a snapshot of how many emails or documents it was looking through before our search was complete. So that's kind of what the indexing status purpose is for. The next thing is we have locations to search. So this is where it kind of gives you um, the different places it can look. So you can see Ethan Kane at Aramar, our SharePoint list, or even our online archive. However, it is important to note that searching the online locations are only accessible if you're using Microsoft 365. Next, we have this advanced find feature. If we click on that, it's going to open up this big, this little box here, and it gets really specific. So if any of you have ever, um, you know, searched for a journal or an academic article in one of those big databases, this search box will kind of feel very similar to that one where, you know, you can search for keywords, specific, like, you know, where in a specific subject field, to, from, you know, where are you, I'm the only person in the two line, like all these very, very, very specific ways to search for an email. So if you're looking for something really specific, this can be a great way to help you find things. Um, and you can even add more criteria. So it's a very specific way to look for things in your inbox. And you can even select where you would like it to look for it. So any Outlook item, appointments and meetings, files in Outlook and Exchange, journal entries, messages, notes, tasks, etc. So you can really, really get specific to finding that certain item inside of this advanced feature. You can even browse if you would like to search a specific folder or RSS feed. You can do it that way by just clicking um, the browse button there. And then when you're ready for your search, you just click find now and it should hopefully, you know, filter through that big inbox and find whatever you might be looking for. And this is also where that indexing, that index feature that I pointed out earlier can actually come in handy because it will tell you, you know, how many, out, how many items it has before your search is complete. Now the next thing we're going to look at again with our search items, I just got to open up our search bar again to get our search tab. So back to those three dots to our search tools. We're going to click on search options. Now, this actually kind of brings us into like the behind the scenes of what is happening when we're searching. So we can pick our sources. You can change the Outlook sources index by Windows search by just clicking indexing options. You actually can pick where you want things to be searched. And then you can pick where you'd like your results to be from, like a current folder, current folder mailbox, all mailboxes, however you'd like that to be set up. You can even have it include messages from the deleted items folder. Improve your search by limiting the, you can, you know, check these on or off depending on what you would like. Highlighting search, you even have the option to, you know, pick your highlight color if you want something like this or green. Uh, I'm really, really digging, I'm really digging this, this bright blue color, so that's going to be my highlight color now when I search. And you also can get notified when results might be limited, so you really, again, can go through and really customize how you'd like your search options to look. And these features can definitely be helpful if you're looking for a very specific item. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.